Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're back today with another video. Happy to have you joining us. Just want to say a couple of announcements. First and foremost, I want to thank you, all of you who supported me with my mother and her 91st birthday celebration. We painted together on our last video and we did, oh, such a fun job together. She enjoyed it so much she wants to do it again. It was a total surprise to her. And I did not want to tell her ahead of time because I didn't want her to be apprehensive about it. She'd never painted before. And it was just an amazing thing. She did an awesome job. In fact, she did better than me. We did a flip cup. So thank you so much for your birthday wishes and for all the kind words that you shared concerning me spending time with my mother on her 91st birthday painting together. We also followed up with dinner afterwards, so she was fully celebrated and had an amazing day. And we're so thankful for all of you who shared in that celebration as well. Second announcement is that I wanna remind you, if you are not aware, please go to Facebook and sign up with me through Acrylic Dutch Pour and More, a new Facebook group that we have that we've started so that people who've asked to friend me on Facebook, this is a perfect opportunity for you to do that. This will allow you to share with me your work, your artwork, ask your questions and share with other artists what you're doing and how you can get better at it. We want to ensure that you are supported as much as possible. We have provided lots of opportunities for you to share your work, through this vehicle of Facebook and being able to get questions answered, make comments, and join in celebrating the success of other artists as well. So we welcome you and we thank you so much if you've already joined. If you haven't, please do so. We'd love to have you. We're going to get started. As you know, we like to get started right away. And we're going to jump in with the um, 18 by 24 inch canvas with a black and white split. The black and white split that we're using today is none other than the, <clears throat> excuse me, Blick Acrylic Titanium White. And then we have the Blick Acrylic Mars Black as a split base. We're gonna be using some additional colors on here. And we're gonna make sure we have popped our air bubbles, which is what we need to do now. We need to look for any highs and lows, any uninvited guests, anything that could create a, <clears throat> excuse me, a less than flawless foundation. I'm having a little allergy issue here this morning, so forgive me. We really want to do a nice Dutch pour today with this black and white split and just looking to ensure that we get coverage everywhere we need it. And, you know, we put this down ahead of time because it does take a bit to get the paint down on the larger canvases. So to save time, you go ahead and do this. Occasionally, I will show you how it's done, how I do it just because we have new people joining us all the time and we want to make sure we're supporting everyone. Okay. All right, let's get this done. This spatula that I'm using is very helpful. It's an omelet spatula and it's available via Amazon. And I learned about it a few years back watching Canellis Roscoe, who does an amazing job with Dutch pour. She's from Canada. And she introduced this to us because her mother had purchased it for her to help with her painting and it does an amazing job. It's a silicone spatula and they do come in two sizes. This particular one is a larger of the two, but I find it to be extremely helpful. So if it helps you 
Perfect. Go ahead and try it. <coughs> you want to pop air bubbles and look for any fire and debris. You want to make certain that we have enough coverage here throughout our canvas. And it's difficult sometimes to see every little spot, so you have to be extremely patient and careful when you're looking at a larger canvas. All right, I think we're ready to introduce our colors for this Dutch pour. We have, <coughs> pardon me, I'm so sorry. Um, the Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue. We're gonna use Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. We have some Liquitex Cobalt Blue. We have some Liquitex Titanium White. The Artist Loft Turquoise and some Artist Loft Thalo Blue. So we're gonna do mostly blues today. However, we're gonna to look to see if we need to use any other white or color in here. If it starts to look like we really need to add something additional, we will. Let's go ahead and do our design. We wanna come on the dividing line here this black and white. I also want to come in, let's see. Um, I'm trying to decide which direction I want to take this in. Okay, we'll go this way. And then we'll come out that way. All right. That's the cobalt blue, metallic blue. This is the cobalt blue. And remember, all of our colors are listed in the description box of each of the videos. A reminder also, if you are having struggles with your Dutch pour, check out video number 28 and number 52 on how to improve your Dutch pour, as well as how to get the right consistency with your paints. We also encourage you to just check out all our videos, so we'd love to have you look at each and every one of them. All right, and then we're down to our phthalo blue. Let's go ahead and tap out our colors here, little drips. I'm going to just take some black, it's starting to air dry already. Really have to outline this a little bit more just to ensure we have enough flow with our paint and we'll do the same with our white okay we'll move our friends aside and torch again 
Seems a little low here. Just gonna put that there. Just want to make certain that we have a nice foundation to work with. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to get this blowed out and see what we can make of this black and white split 18 by 24 inch canvas Dutch pour. All right, pop these air bubbles here. And we'll move everything aside so we can have room to blow without blowing it everywhere. Simply elegant, very, very pretty, very, very pretty. I am loving this. A little bit of a spot of black that didn't get caught up and we're just gonna tap that out. So, so pretty. We've got cells and lacing coming in. Don't really see air bubbles, but I'm just gonna take a light torch See if we have anything else that shows as a result. The colors here are just awesome. Beautiful. I am loving this. It's very pretty. Okay, and I'm going to take my little Panna Brand makeup tool, which is a plastic tool that I use to do tons of things with, with the wiping, swiping. Just really is a multi-useful tool. These I purchased in a packet of 50 from Amazon and they are reusable. So you only need to use buy one pack. And a pack of 50, I have continued to use the same pack. While we're always looking for uninvited guests, we are wiping underneath here because this helps the paint to come to rest so that the design that you have can stay intact as much as possible. It's gonna move a bit, but you don't want it moving too much. As long as the paint is running off, we know there's some movement. So we just take our time and make the effort to wipe underneath and do it a few times so that we can ensure the design we have is intact and it will come to rest. 
All right, guys, I think this is a good one. Really good one. A keeper, if you will. I love it, love it, love it. And I think what I'll do is bring you in for a close-up. How's that? Hold on. All right, everybody, it's close-up time. Really rich, beautiful colors here. These blues on our black and white split. You can see the shimmer and shine from the cobalt metallic blue. Look at those dark, beautiful cells coming through the black. So rich and so pretty. The shimmer and shine on top, making for loveliness in this combination of blue. Look at those cells, they're beautiful. Again, here we have some rich color from the metallic cobalt blue and the turquoise and all the really rich dark blues that we had, the phthalo blue, Prussian blue, all of them showing up so pretty. Look at that, the lacing here. There's tons of cells there. More lacing coming through very, very pretty. Love this spot here. And moving up, see the richness of those blues along with more cells coming through all the way to the top. Love this 18 by 24 inch canvas on a, <clears throat> excuse me, black and white split. Really pretty, very smooth and elegant with lots of flow. So, so pretty. Okay, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Let me know what you think in the comments. We really appreciate you being with us each and every time. Love to have you join us on our Facebook group, Acrylic Dutch Pour and More. Go ahead and subscribe. We would really love to see your work. It's a perfect opportunity for you to share with me what you've been working on. I would love, love, love to give you feedback. Also to uh, answer any questions that you might have, any questions that I can answer, I would definitely be willing to do so. So until next time, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe here on our YouTube channel as well. But keep loving your art and we'll see you on the next video upload. Bye now.